Hello, and today I'll introduce to you the drama Beverly Hills 90210-1990. I'll tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they changed in 2022. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Alright, let's get started. Brenda Walsh is played by Shannon Doherty. She is Brandon's twin sister. She met and dated her twin, Dylan McKay. She was a nice girl until around season 2 when her character started to become more rebellious and sly. In 1990, Shannon Doherty was 19 years old, and now she's 51 years old. I mean, you know, I mean, obviously I go in and I get my blood work done once a month, and I get PET scans done every six months. So there's, you know, every six months is pretty scary because you're waiting for... Brandon Walsh is played by Jason Priestley. He is the moral center of the film. He's the person many people turn to when they're in trouble. Donna's high school expulsion, Brenda's many problems, Kelly's drug problems, Andrea's admission to Yale. In 1990, Jason Priestley was 21 years old and now he's 53 years old. A lot of um, things going on between uh, relations. Very but, you know, delicately the, put here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's, it's morning television. Steve Sanders is played by Ian Ziering. He was a rich, rude, and light-hearted kid. He drives a Corvette, has money, prostitutes, and fame. He begins to gradually reveal the more mature side of his personality through his friendship with Brandon Walsh as they have been best friends in high school, college, and later housemates. In 1990, Ian Ziering was 26 years old, and now he's 58 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting the ratings to continue to climb. They already started out really high. There was a huge right. promotional push to get the word out. The Swamp Thing is happening. Dylan McKay is played by Luke Perry. He was a loner in high school until he found the gang. He had various relationships with Brenda and Callie in high school. He felt alone until his father Jack got out of prison and they reconciled. Later, Jack was apparently killed by a mafia assassin with a car bomb. It took him a long time to get over his father's death. In 1990, Luke Perry was 24 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on March the 4th, 2019 at the age of 52. Uh, Dilton, Doily, all of them. And, um, but it's today's Archie. It is definitely a 21st century. I don't know if you looked around, it's pretty dark out there. And this show is definitely reflective. David Silver is played by Brian Austin Green. David always wanted to be a part of the famous crowd. David and his best friend, Scott Scanlon, spent hours trying to be seen by their colleagues at school. He seems to be at the peak of his life by taking some double classes to graduate with the gang, dating Donna. In 1990, Brian Austin Green was 17 years old and now he's 49 years old. Didn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> there was no way to fact check what it is we were doing. Yeah. Because we could literally say anything and people were like, oh, that makes total sense. Callie Taylor is played by Jenny Garth. She's the main character that appears gradually throughout the series, mature from spoiled teen vixen to grounded 25 years old. Kelly endured many personal battles, including as a drug addict mother and an absentee father, who was later sent to prison for embezzlement. In 1990, Jenny Garth was 18 years old and now she's 50 years old. Now you know the sugar-free substitutes have been linked with diabetes and obesity and all sorts of other things. I've seen a lot of yogurt in there. Yeah, Greek yogurt as a substitute for everything. Andrea Zuckerman is played by Gabrielle Carteris. She was a focused, socially shy student throughout high school. Very fond of Brandon, but their relationship remained platonic. She was valedictorian, accepted to Yale but decided to go to CU to be close to friends and family. She is romantically involved with Dan Rubin, her resident advisor. In 1990, Gabrielle Carteris was 29 years old, and now she's 61 years old. Good, right? A couple days later, the writer called me and he said, Gabrielle, we've discovered your age and we're going to print it. And I said, please do not print my age. Please, if you print my age, I will lose. Donna Martin is played by Tori Spelling. She is so dizzy and sweet. She started dating David Silver in high school. She discovered that she had a learning disability, which without being diagnosed was causing her difficulties in school. After graduating from high school, she had an abusive relationship with Jay Prude, who was mean and manipulative almost from the start. 
She was 17 years old in 1990, and now she's 49 years old. I want to be a part of it and guess for myself, just like the viewers. I was blown away who was real, and I thought, oh, I have it. You know, those people, they don't touch each other enough. They're Cindy Walsh is played by Carol Potter. She is the mother of Brandon and Brenda. The latter moved to Hong Kong when Jim was promoted. She is a loving and empathetic mother to her children, but also to her children's often troubled friends, especially Dylan and Kelly. In 1990, Carol Potter was 42 years old, and now she's 74 years old. Grounded me so deeply, and I thought, this is what I need. I, I need to get grounded. So I, I started going to St. Albans, and then, you know, lo and behold... Nat Busicchio is played by Joe Itada. He is a former Hollywood character actor who is the boss of Brandon, and the owner and operator of Peach Pit, a 1950s-style diner where the gang always hangs out. He often acts as a moral guy for the group. In 1990, Joe Itada was 54 years old, and it was with great sadness that Tada passed away on August 24th. 2022 at the age of 85. So Joe was another one of those that I hadn't seen in, in years. So seeing you last night was so, so great. Jim Walsh is played by James Eckhouse. He's the father of Brandon and Branda. He has a strong sense of ethics. He's very dedicated to his work and loyal to his employer to the point that he finds himself at odds with Brandon, who often defends important causes important to him, even at the expense of his father's business interests. In 1990, James Eckhouse was 35 years old, and now he's 67 years old. It's great. I, you know, I don't know. I felt actually kind of relieved. I, I was worried about watching it. But um, I felt like... What do you think when the actors in Beverly Hills 90210 have changed significantly? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell to wait for our next videos.